Hey guys, hello, give us a minute, we're sharing this out. I do not own the rights to the music playing, this is playing from youtube.com, however, I chose this song because it's called Doomed by Bring Me the Horizon, and it fits the story we have, or several stories actually, from the place I'm screen sharing. Hey guys. Yeah, people are feeling intense. What's going on? I'm feeling strong, um, strong energy, what, what a lot of people would call underworld um i don't mean i don't mean this in a negative way it's it's the energy it's a, the energy a lot of people call demons but it's so strong they take it the wrong way that's what it feels like Hey guys, stay with us and give us a minute. I'm going to be um, sharing some images also. That's why this is um, screen sharing. Okay. She is. Where's the image? I just want the image. Here we go. Right there. There we go. You guys see this image? I can't do that because then I can't get back to my tab. Okay, I'm going to turn this down so we can actually talk now. Guys, how are you doing tonight? Athena's over here getting tranced. I'm not sure what's up with that. You see 20 images. Did it at least expand one? What I'm seeing shows one's larger than the rest. I couldn't get it to do full screen. Because we're going to talk about what's in the pictures. This is an area of way northern New Hampshire. I'm already in northern New Hampshire, but this is like getting probably within a half hour of Canada. Um, Dixville Notch. We've had some experiences here. I wanted our first episode to, of Spirit Tripping to be down in Gilmington at Herman's old house, what's called the H.H. H. Holmes house area, but um, that one I want to do live from the actual area, and it's a couple of hours, uh, probably actually almost three hours from where I am now, so we haven't, we didn't get there, and now that it's snowing up here, we may not get as many episodes done live from actual locations, which was the plan for this. But we can still get on here and talk about the crap that's already happened. Are you okay? Yeah. What's going on? My heart chakra is just literally like soaring to the roof right now. Like, 
Can everyone hear me? Yeah, can you guys hear us okay? Because we're using my laptop and we're both trying to like sit close to it. Spirit Road Tripper. Yeah, Skip, that's for real. The reason I'm even in New Hampshire is because I was led up here by spirits. You know who, Herman and Hiram. Um, I never planned on living in the north where it snows three feet of snow. Never planned on doing this. Was not like even in any thought I ever had before the past year. And now I'm up here. Yeah, act like you're yelling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's going on with you? Um, so this picture that we have pulled up right now, it is actually activating me. Um, it will. There's a dragon in that yeah, area. Yeah, that the dragon is in the end. Yeah, he's amazing. body because I want to go out of body right now. I am very, I'm feeling very intense right now and I mean like really, really intense. <laughs> My shadow is coming out full force um, with, with this one, with this trip, I should say. So yeah, so Ooh. some backstory. We've been through this area several times. Um, we knew, let me pull up a different picture real quick and start with the resort. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, guys. I'm new to doing this. Here it is. Mm. Okay, so this picture I have expanded. This is, um, I think it's pronounced balsams. Balsams. This area. I'm going to be careful how I word this because this is a business, so I don't want to get myself in trouble. So I'm just going to say this area. Um, has a lot going on that's not positive. Are you guys feeling anything from this picture? Let me know if I need to move it to something else. Let me know how it's making you feel. I can see that for yourself, and this is only because I know what's here and I know what is around it, but my higher self is screeching at this photo. So if anyone that is connected to my higher self hears me screeching, I apologize in advance. Um, it's just, it's really hard because my natural instincts are to just jump into action. Yeah. And just, just go to town, <laughs> per se. Um, it needs a lot of healing. There's a lot of interesting energies in this area. Not all are friendly. Not at all. Um... In this area, we encountered um, a being. She, I don't know, like what the the tentacle beings. I don't know, like what dimension mm -hmm. or realm they belong to. But she would be like a higher up over mm -hmm. over the ones that don't communicate. That look kind of like squiggly, a mix of an octopus and a spider. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have seen those. To the people that see spirits, um, they just kind of latch into your chakras and feed. Think, think the um, from the Little Mermaid. Think Ursula. The like right. the female, the feminine, the one that's like that would be higher than them. Yeah, she looks like Ursula. Yeah, they also have more of like an alien head with physical be like full body. Yeah. They're pretty nasty. It's kind of like a mix. It's kind of like a mix of a humanoid body, yeah. ET head on top, yeah. but then tentacle legs. Yes. And um. And she looked the same way. She just had what I would call the beehive hairstyle, really tall, to try to hide. They try to hide the weird head, <laughs> and it doesn't work. Yeah. I don't know. 
yeah. surprise tip. Um, we we literally tried to like block it when we go past this. Um, and then one day we didn't. We decided to yeah. sit there and battle it. Of the, the ship coming at us. This is what you would call oppositional spirits. This is what you would call. I would call them beyond oppositional. I would call combative. these combative. Um, they they take notice of people like us, meaning our lights a little too bright. <laughs> um, and they took notice of that, and yeah. they you know they have come at us quite a few times. Um, just even driving by, it's literally uh, like shield, 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 like literally having to zap our energy. Like, yeah, it's bad. It's not easy for um, people like us to be driving through. So that was the start of some <sighs> of our experiences in Dixville Notch. Besides meeting the dragon who's up on the mountain, who he's amazing. He he's, is. He's, he's very protective. He's guarding his area and he yeah. needs to. So I'm going to go back to this. Oh, here's a different view. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't seen that view because I can't get up there. Mm -hmm. So that caught my eye. Um, since we're on the road for this experience, I'm going to go back to this. Um, Skippy, being alone, y'all, I didn't have to say we weren't alone. We had our spirit teams with us and the elementals were with us. but Yes, as far as humans go, it was literally just Crystal and I with our spirit beings. Yeah. Battling those beings. Skip, yeah, I mean, we, yeah. Me and Athena, even separately, before, like, being in person together, we both have been through a lot yes. of battles. Um, yes. We're, we're not new to that. I don't choose to do them. No. Oh, no. You know, I don't go out looking for it. I don't like step up and I will say like when I have friends with things going on that I'm going to like defend them all the time. Like I don't do that. Like, nope. but sometimes I get pulled into this shit, especially yeah. when it's affecting me and it was affecting a big area too. These things were coming out yes. a big area. And so that pissed me off. So I was like, no, I'm going to be living up here. So if something needs to be corrected, I'm going to jump in. And it does happen more than you would believe. Okay, and that's like, our segue because right? I want to get into the main story why we started this this stretch of road that goes through this notch, this mountain. Mm -hmm. So I want to start with what I was seeing and feeling before we even got to the area of road because there were things going on. Me and Athena were driving home from a friend's house who lives in this area and it was after dark. So like we weren't talking a lot. I was like in a lot of pain and not feeling good. So we weren't talking a lot. And I noticed we had first went to the town that's out, of, not like right in that range of mountains and got food, did all this kind of stuff, you know. Normal human stuff. Normal human stuff, getting ready for the drive back. Cause it's like a little over an hour away from where we're staying. And I knew I was having just weird thoughts, weird negative thoughts. I'm very much paranoid. Like I kept thinking the worst and like just things that didn't make sense kept popping in my mind. So fast forward a little bit, we're in the stretch of road and there's a, you go up and down a huge hill cause you are driving through a road that's cut through the mountain range. So that's gonna be called a notch. Yeah, that's why they call them notches up here. Those are roads that are literally going through the mountains. So you're going uphill in elevation a good bit, and then you go back down. So I had a specific thought that was what? Oh, I was being shown. We're on this road, and all of a sudden I have this image flash in my mind of because I'm eating. I'm eating chicken as Athena's driving. So I see this image flash in my mind of this black animal that runs into the road and she swerves to not hit it and we go off the road and because of that I see myself sucking in the chicken and I start choking and dying. But she's like off the road and the car's wrecked and but she's not getting out to help me. 
at that point we're just sitting there so I, I have this vision and it was super fast and so then I didn't even say anything to her I still was like whatever I don't know why I'm having weird thoughts I was just gonna ignore it but then we're going down the hill and I notice Athena drives pretty slow especially in my car she hasn't driven it a lot so yeah yeah, she's not she's not an aggressive driver, but I noticed as we're going down the hill and there's these sharp curves and we don't know this road very well and she's not slowing down. And so I start looking at her and she looks zoned out. So I'm asking her like, are you tranced out? And she's like, yeah, but it's okay. And I'm like, yeah, but you're not really slowing down. And she's like, huh? At first she's like, huh, what? And then I notice like she's actually pushing the brakes mm -hmm. and it's not slowing down mm -hmm. like the car is not slowing down it literally feels like it is like revving up like it's going faster as i'm attempting to slow down while all this is going on i literally can feel i'm getting like this when you when your higher self come like starts to get pulled out of body it can almost be kind of like an euphoric feeling comes over you at times. And I'm telling you, the feeling that came over me was just like pure bliss. And it didn't, it confused me at first. And then I yeah, shook my I head. Yeah, because I could tell, I could tell you were in a good mood. And you were yeah. just kind of like, oh, we're fine, whatever. Yeah. But something to me did not feel right. I'm like, why yeah. is she not slowing down enough? Like, we could run off this fucking road in the dark. Yeah. It had been snowing, like. Yeah, she knows what I mean. Like, like, I, I can't go fast on these roads. And then all of a sudden, like, as I'm, like, trying to slow down, and I notice the Jeep is not slowing down, I snap out of it, and I'm like, wait a minute, who is trying to activate me? What is going on? Because my spirits know, do not activate me. Do not try to channel through me while I'm driving. They are yeah. very respectful our of that guys, decision. Yeah, like, our guys don't, don't, they don't put us in danger to do things like that. No. So it wasn't so making I knew, sense. I knew something was off, and I didn't know what. And then I started to come, too. And I'm like, Crystal, did we already pass? Uh, did we already pass by the resort? And she's like, Yeah, we're actually, you know, we're passing, we're, we're passing through that mountain. Um, because I'm still learning the area. And I said, Crystal, we are being tailed. Something is tailing us. I don't know how to explain this, but something. There is a craft, and it's showing itself to me. It's making itself very known to me, as I'm trying to drive. <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was like all of a sudden all the pieces came together for both of us. It was dawning on me like the negative thoughts I was having. Then I started getting visions like up in the sky. I, it, I didn't know what I was seeing at first. Mm -hmm. So as her her and I start comparing notes, then it's like, oh, we have an issue. And I remember in the car, I started feeling like something was um, coming down over the top of my head, and so I'm like. I can feel a higher aspect of me, like my higher self starts fighting something off. And then I see this artificial cord, like mm -hmm. it didn't look like electrical cords that we use, but it looked very, it, it was made by someone or something. It was artificial. It wasn't like a cord, like a soul cord connection. It was like an energetic cord from another human. Yeah, it didn't look like the umbilical cord type cord, energy cord. So it looked artificial, like metallic. Mm -hmm. So I remember all of a sudden I'm punching and kicking this thing. And next thing I know, there's beings in front of me because I'm like starting to see out of body. And I'm in a fight. And I don't know what's going on with Athena at this point. I'm just seeing this and I'm seeing it and trying to tell her. And then what's going on with you then? And so as I'm literally driving down the road, like trying to like keep my higher self in my body because I can feel combative energy coming at me and like they're showing me flat out, like whatever she did, like it kind of pushed them back a little bit. And, you know, our spirit team was attacked in the process, but they were showing like they may have backed off, but they were still literally tailing us. Like we were tailed by this ship. Yeah. For at least before, a good 30 minutes. Like, before I had to get... And it was continuous, it. like, crap coming at us. I like, forgot. Before I had to start fighting them, I remember knowing that Herman was gone. And so yes. I'm like, where is he? That's how I started seeing inside this craft. 
before I even knew they were trying to do anything to us, I knew he was in there because he was trying to mediate. I guess yes. he recognized wherever these being souls, whatever, from another place, whatever they were, he recognized them. So he's trying to medi mediate and be like, don't fuck with these two, pretty much. It didn't seem to work. Something triggered them, and then they yep. came at us harder. Um, so she was able to handle her cord. I was driving, and I didn't know that they were cording into me and why they were cording into us. So we're going to get into that later. Um, that's, that's really why I'm traumatized in both. But we literally had to call upon our Starseed family to assist us. Because it, they were not backing off. They were not, they were not letting us go. Like, they were going to tail us all the way back to our place. Like, they made that very clear to me. Like, they were, like, in my face, in her fucking face, like, yeah. in our energy field, like, r legit, like, trying to pull us up and out. Like, I kept, like, I'm, in a sense, battling these things, trying to drive. Crystal is over in her seat trying to battle <laughs> these things. And keep her shit together, which it's not an easy task, by the way. No. <laughs> it's really not. But, you know, we kept our cool the whole time. Like, yeah, I was a little upset. Yeah, I, um, I felt, like, very hyped up. But I knew, like, I had to stay focused. I'm like, I'm driving back in the dark. I can't really see. Like, I'm not going to give them what they want. So little did I know, later... Later on, you know, we finally made it to the town before before where we're at right now. We made it to the the next town over, and that's when our Starseed family kicked in, and they they just were done. It was it was done. It was over. Because we broke away. Like you, yeah. we you could you feel, feel like the this difference. tension release. Yes. Like this this cloud. Yeah. The foggy cloud was gone. Yes. Um. I'm telling you what, my head, oh my god, my head, the left side of my head, like my temple all the way into my crown was hurting so bad. We've both been very physically messed up since yes. this day. Like the night this happened, I was I was already having low back and hip yes. problems. But it was like the next morning, I felt like I had been beat the fuck up yes. physically, like all over. Yes. You're still sore. You I'm actually, my heart. ribs, I, yeah, yesterday I could barely move my right arm. Um, today, my, both of my ribs are energetically bruised. Um, this is not a joke. No. So the night, There's a lot of, I think, you know, so, some people, cause we have a lot of different people that may see this and I know everybody's not at the same awareness or consciousness on things, yes. the unseen side of things that you don't see with your physical eyes. Yes. And a lot of people talk about, you know, disclosure and contact with ETs. It's already happening. Yes. But it's not a physical thing like, I, you know, I'm not going to say it's never going to happen because I don't know if actual craft are going to come here that you can see. Yeah. We see craft all the time, but they hide. Yeah. Um, it's like a certain part of your consciousness has to open up to see yes. these things. It's literally like seeing them through your third eye. It's not a conscious. You can't, it's like your physical eye is seeing them. It's your, you know, you're seeing it through your third eye. So... There was a lot of things that we didn't figure out until the next day, but that night I came home and I knew I had to get a bath. Like I had to do a detox bath oh, ASAP. Yeah. And I didn't know that something had already corded into my belly button. So my spirit team is on this and they showed me it remind it kind of looked like a tapeworm. I don't know if anyone's ever seen a tapeworm. But they're really long, flat, skinny things. But this one was different. This was a um plasmic clear implant keyword implant yeah. not a tracker this was an implant there's also a reason why i didn't they didn't get that far yes. with me and we're gonna get into that part yes i'm gonna let you so i didn't put two and two together um until the next morning but that night like i kept on crystal i said crystal i feel very violated in my energy field i mean i feel physically violated like I don't know if you guys, if anyone has ever, you know, been sexually harassed or, you know, if you, anyone, and this is a very, very trigger that I'm about to bring yeah. up. Okay. I'm warning everyone now. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. This is a like very serious shit. Um, 
And this is why I'm literally like clinging on to my selenite wand right now because I, it's a trigger for me. So if you've ever been sexually harassed, if you've ever been, you know, sexually assaulted, you know what that violated feeling feels like, especially in your energy field. Mm -hmm. It is a very dank feeling that you cannot wash off. It will not wash off. Like I tried and I just, I even had to call a friend because I just, I needed to like get my mind off of what I was feeling. And they even could feel like, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I don't feel okay. Like I just fucking like bad old ETs. Like, well, how do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> like, you know, I just, I didn't clue into why they were trying to implant in me. So the next morning I woke up and I still had that disgusting feeling, you know, like in my energy. And so I asked my guides, I was like, I want the truth. I want to know what was the purpose of them trying to implant into me. And I asked the question in front of Herman and Herman's very honest. He's very straight to the point, very blunt, does not sugarcoat it. Um, they implanted to into my energetic womb, which would be my spirit's womb, to create a being. And I know that sounds crazy. Trust me, I know that sounds crazy because I spun out. This I was a lot though. People need to yes, be aware. I spun the fuck out because I was pissed. I mean, I was fuming. I am well aware that our soul can create energy. I am yes. aware our soul can carry another spirit in our energetic womb. Not everyone is aware of this. Crystal can no longer, she doesn't. This is why, yeah, I was, they tried to cord in through my navel. Now, I don't know if they were going to try to do something else. I don't know. But I think the reason I did have to fight with them, but they did not seed in me because I physically no longer have the female parts. And yes. I think. I think they're doing this at an energetic level to mess with the DNA. Yes. So if, if you're impregnated physically, yes. it's going to affect the baby. Well, I can't physically get pregnant. Yes. Those parts are gone for me. So it would be kind of pointless. I'm not going to be creating a human child. Yes. And, the, and I hate to say this, but trust me when I say that beings and spirits are well aware of our bodies, of our cycles, of everything in between. They um, they're a lot smarter than some get some credit for. Yes, they are. They um, can see what's going on. They can implant a seed. That's what the word implant is. They can implant a seed in your energetic body and it can happen. Like they can implant you, seeds for reproductive reasons. They can implant implants like yes. tracking devices. Yes. Or things like parasites, yes. non-physical parasites, but yes. um, energetic parasites that can cause you to think, behave very differently. Very, yeah. Um, I'm actually getting very sick, very nauseous talking about this because, once again, this is nothing new. This is not a thing that is new for me, but I know this is happening to other people. This is legit what I call spiritual rape. This is not something that I agreed to. This is not something my higher self agreed to. It is not okay. It's not okay. And this is why I talk about, I keep telling people, we're in spiritual warfare. And I'm not using that as some vague statement to like try to mean something else and not say what I mean. Like that's what I mean, literally. Mm -hmm. We're in energetic warfare. We're in spiritual warfare. And that is manifesting in things you see going on on this planet. But it's as above so below you know it's it's starting outside the physical realm so i've had someone you know that i talked to about this and she just asked me, she's like how how do we protect ourselves as you know not just women but men too because just as helen pointed out everyone has an energetic womb both male and female yes whether you accept that or not you have a feminine and a masculine so there it is but um, 
I flat out told her, I said, this is where our guides and our higher self comes in. You guys, like, we have to be aligned with our higher self at this time. You have to protect your own energy. You cannot rely on an outside source to do it for you. No, because they can't, they can't stop everything. No, they can't. My spirits, my female spirits, actually, both of our female spirits were attacked more than our male spirits. Yes. Our male spirits were drained, but our female spirits... They went after the females this time. Yeah, it that's was... a different one for us because they usually go after the males. Like they made their their fucking it statement was very, very obvious. Clear. They like, were yeah, they were specifically going after females, human or spirit. It actually didn't seem to matter. They no, like and I the download that I received, you know, after getting this information is there is energies that are desperate right now. They are desperate. To continue their race and they will do whatever it takes to continue doing this and if they have to I'm saying this lightly if they have to hijack body or if they have to hijack your higher self they don't care there mm -hmm. is beings that do not care about um, our ascension our ascension process they don't want that to happen it's just you legit we're in a time that you have to protect yourself all the time i didn't even get a break before we had another um spirit situation that we had to deal with last night like it's legit non-stop and it's not that you know it's constant combative energies because it really comes down to sometimes it's just an attachment that just pops up in your living room and you just gotta deal with it yeah like it sucks but you know like think about Think about someone that's standing outside shoveling your sidewalk and they have a couple attachments and they know that you're renting the place. So these attachments come into your living room. What do you do? It happened last night. And like, the fucker tried, <laughs> and the fuck, it tried to tell me there is no more high room. That's the first thing I heard that started yes. set this off last night. I heard there is no more high room. Yes. Like, what the, who the hell said that? What yes. are you talking about? Yes. And then I walked by this thing, not knowing it was in the middle of our living room, and I, I flipped it. I'm telling you what, my energy went through the roof. I was, like, freaking out. I, I went from, like, calm, chill to angry. I'm talking, like, I was shaking, screaming at this thing. Like, I was not okay. I, I don't know what it was. The way that it showed itself to me, it showed it was an attachment. It just showed that it had projected into the living room. And it was like just a human. Just It showed itself as a human in a shadow form. But something about its energy I saw his was face. very, very nasty, very oppressive, very sexually that, dominant. Yeah. I will, I, you can't do anything to me. I will, I will ruin you. Like, he pissed me off. Like, couldn't even sit in love and light. That's how angry I was. Like I told well, my spirits flat out, I cannot help this one. I will not send it love and light. I will not do anything. And that's where like, you and I, I balance. Yeah. You and I balance each other because I was okay and I was like, yeah, oh she whatever. Was fine. Like, so I sit in peace. I just sit in peace. And then he seemed shocked. And then mm -hmm. then I saw um some of our spirits guys were involved. They opened a portal like above and just then he just went wherever. I don't know what they did or where he yeah. went. He was kind of just shocked that I sit in peace. Yeah, because like, he wanted. <laughs> whatever that's that's the thing. Like he he purposely triggered me because this is what they do. These lower vibrational attachments will trigger your anger to you feed off of it. Yep. And I'm talking. It was deep seated rage that he was pulling out of me. Like I wanted to just rip through and destroy this thing. Like, and I'm the love and light one. <laughs> You're learning that you're not. That's the thing. I'm really not lately. Like, and that's I, the, it's a balance. See, these beings like him, I'm mm -hmm. not going to say that about the the beings from another place that we yes. encountered in the notch, but the spirit of the man that was in here, yeah, he did you a favor by yes. it because they're showing you like what's really in you. Yes, yes. And I'm telling you, like, what I, it's funny because your true power, like, not your power that you're channeling your true inner power your soul power is strong as fuck yes it is. it's very very strong and it can be overwhelming when it's tapped into and it takes it takes a lot to stay grounded to stay calm 
to stay rational. Like not everything is going to be, I can send it love and light and it's going to disappear. Sometimes you literally have to stand up to combative energies and just, you know, give them a taste of their own medicine. It's learning to stand up for yourself. And it's and not just, yourself. it's not just combative energies. Like sometimes you legit have to stand up to other spirits because like with me, I'm tested continuously right now because I've opened that box. I've opened my gifts and it's all black. Like, there's no turning it off now. It's open. It's there. And they're just like, okay, so what are you going to do when this happens? Or what are you going to do when this noxious twat over here is coming into your room night after night? What are you going to do about it? You know, it's literally learning how to set your boundaries, learning how to defend yourself. And it's okay to defend yourself. And they will test your own truth. They will yes. tell you things if you're asking questions. I'm learning this also. They will tell you what's not true if they know you really know the answer. Yes. To see if you will trust yourself over them all the time. Yes. Your spirits, your spirit guides are there to guide you. And they will do whatever is necessary to guide you where you're supposed to be at. But that's the thing. The key word here is guide. They're not going to do everything for us. They're not going to handle every single spirit that comes walking up into our house. No, you know they, they are legit showing us we have to be able to handle this shit ourselves too. Like they, they're not always able to do everything that we need them to do. It's our job to protect ourselves, to protect our families, come together, and you know, unify. And the, I want to like kind of tie this into an ending right now. So I want to bring up like. The reason we're doing the show, like for me, why I thought to start this, because we were already traveling all over. I was mm -hmm. before Athena even got up here. I've been driving all over the place. A lot of what I'm doing is always related to spirit activity. Yep. And how it ties into why we're doing this on COVID-88 is because this is why this website was started, because we're in like a front line you know the front line wave of people who are doing this and clearing things for other people and there are people in all stages of waking up to their abilities and what's going on and the spiritual warfare going on we're the front lines so we're doing things ahead of what schedule as far as like say astrology i was reading some reading some of the info coming out for 2020 based on my report which is why i'm not gonna just say it on here I would tell you guys, but it's not going to be helpful to all of you. This was based on mine. So, but I was talking to Herman about it because I was like, a lot of what I'm reading, I'm already dealing with or have been dealing with the past year. I'm like, am I going to keep doing this shit? And he's like, no, you're doing it now so you can help the next wave. And I'm like, oh, it clicked. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's why we started the site and we have the, the different group of women with all these different services and products because it's all to help what everyone calls the ascension process mm -hmm. um, because some of us have been going through this a long time now I'm not gonna say we know every little thing going no. on all the time we're all still learning but we're here we're help we're here I can't talk we are here to help those who are starting things new for them that don't know what to do, that can't get a grasp on what the hell is going on around me, I feel insane. Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing this, to let people know you're not crazy, we're dealing with this, we have been dealing with this, we can help. Yes. Does anyone have any questions about anything we've been talking about? It's I know it's a lot. Like. <laughs> it is a lot. And, you know, I know that there's people out there that are going to look at this and, you know, possibly mock it, whatever. Oh, they I, I will. Really I don't, don't even care, care anymore. About that. Um, we know it's, it's real. Okay. Yeah. When you wake up the next day physically beat up, yes. possibly even bruises and things on you, but when you physically feel it, you know it's, it's you're not just having delusional visions. Like you are fit, having physical symptoms of what you saw the night before. That's how you know it's real. Anything else to add? I just, like I said, if I am to get to know yourself, your higher self, your higher aspects, is now. The time yeah. to get to know your spirit guides is now. The time to get to know your protectors is now. And simply talk.
talking to them, it, meditating, like it doesn't take a lot. It, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a hard task. Yeah, stop ignoring yourself. Stop yes. if Listen you know spirits. That gut feeling. <laughs> if you know and feel you have spirits around you, stop ignoring them. Start doing the work. And yes. if you need help with what the work is, we're here for that. Yes. Come to us. Okay. Yep, skip front line, exactly. Okay, so I think we're gonna end this. We're going to end this and we're to balance those chakras. Yeah, we could keep going forever. So we will have more <laughs> locations to talk about. And yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's a good starting point. If someone needs any advice, if you're not working on your chakras, you need to. Because your chakras can alert you to when you're feeling things coming into your energy field. Mm -hmm. If you may not see it, but you will feel it once you're aware that you can feel your chakras. Yep. Once you know what it feels like to have them open, when things are going wrong, you will feel it. Yes. So if you need any help, contact us. Check out our site, www.coven88.com. And I want to add, it's, <laughs> it's a little off topic for what we're talking about, but it's our site. So we have, um, we have um, a deal going on for this weekend for um, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. 15% off the entire site. Whoop, whoop. I have posted the codes for that. Um, I will get all that posted on top of this video also, but for some reason when I start the live before, right before I start it, it wants to type backwards. So I have to go back and add everything. But, um, all right, guys, we are going to go. Bye, guys. Have a good evening.